Now today we are going to learn about uh, coordinate system. Now, now graded paper we are going to use for this one. Uh, here we are going to show the x coordinates. Now it will be the x coordinates. Now let's change the colors. Okay. The color, let's say black. Okay, the x coordinate will be this one on the number line. It's number line. Uh, the number line we are going to bring over here. Now, as you know, the number line goes to the left side, goes to the right side. But here, which I just go to the right side, and you can image. Uh, and that you can image that one, it goes to the other side also. Now let's go, this is the number line, and we are going to say, give the name to the number line, we are going to say it's X. Number line is called X here. Now we have another number line perpendicular to this number line. Okay, let's draw it. Okay. Let's draw it here. Sorry. The other number line we are going to put perpendicular to x and we are going to call it y. Now as you see, this is the number line. And we can this the other one is also number line. We have two number lines. Now we can replace number of this number line. This will be zero point. This will be zero point, and this will be one, two, three, four, five. In this way, goes to the right side. For the other side, we can say it's minus one, minus two, minus two. Now here is zero for x one. There will be another zero for y. Will be I am going to put it here zero, and this will be one goes up, two goes up, three up, four up, okay, goes five, six, seven, eight, nine, and up. Now here we are going to show the points, okay, let's say we have any point here. Let's say the point A is here. Now how we are going to define or how we are going to show the coordinates of this A point. Now it has two coordinates. One coordinate is this one. Okay. Okay, goes directly perpendicular to the x axis. Now I came to the five. Now then the first one, the x will be here, a coordinate, and the a points, it has x coordinate, it will be five. Now the other one related with the y number okay from coordinates from point a i am going to draw perpendicular line to the y axis okay, it came here i am going to count one two three four five is six then the y coordinate will be what six here six. i can show this one as five x coordinate X coordinate here and six Y coordinate here. Both of them they define the A point coordinate. Okay. Now here we can find another point. Okay, let me find. Okay, let's say the point is here. Uh, here the point 
Uh, we are going to find the coordinates of this point. Let's say this is point C. Now uh, we are going to find the coordinates of this C. Now the way is the same way. I am going to draw perpendicular uh, dash line to the X axis. Okay, it will be here. From here I am going to draw perpendicular line to the X axis. Now I can 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Then coordinate is 13. Let me find the Y coordinate. Y coordinate we are going to find with the same method from the point to the Y axis we are going to draw perpendicular line okay it will be 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 now this point c has coordinates 13 for x and 11 for 1 now with this one i am defining the coordinates of the points now you don't forget this is the y axis this is x axis we learned it before now just here we are making revision and we are learning a better how to find the coordinates of the point do you have any question no. okay if you don't have any question now do you have your your book with yours with you yeah yes yes okay if yes now uh, you are going to open your book exercises 14f start to solve them quickly if you have question ask me okay i am waiting i am here exercises 14f start to solve it there are simple questions four simple questions for each graph list the set of coordinates shown you are going to write one, three, two, four, and the other. Write them quickly on your notebook or on your course book. Now draw a function machine which will produce this mapping. Uh, we can talk about this one. Now, how you are going to draw a function machine? It will be like this one. I am going to show it here for this first example. For one, we have what? We have three. For two, we have four. Okay, for three, we have five. Now, it will be... Okay, for zero we can say, for zero we can say we have two here. Now we can say it for this one, n plus two is one. here, n plus two will be. And the our rule will be here, n plus two, the function machine will be putting one, uh, adding two, and getting the result now here the function machine will be putting one adding two getting the result three putting two adding two the result is four, four. the function machine will be in this form Zekeriya, do you have any question? Mr. Zekeriya, are you sleeping? Do you have any question? No, I understood. Okay.
Okay, yes. Now let's solve our example. Our example is uh, draw a graph of the mapping x, x plus 4. Okay, let's do it. Now let's okay. Now here uh, we are going to find x and x plus 4, x and x plus 4. We are going to solve or we are going to draw this uh, relations graph. Now it means we are going to put a value for x and we are going to find what does it mean x plus 4 as a y. Now this will be x plus 4 will be our y values now let's try to evaluate uh, sorry let's try to evaluate them now if instead of x we are going to put one x plus four will be what one plus four it will be five we are going to put instead of two x it will be two plus four six the y will be six if we are going to put three instead of x then the y will be 7. Now for 4 it will be 8. Now I can replace these points uh, on our coordinate system. X4, x1, y will be 5. x1, y will be 5. It will be this point. Okay, let me make it bigger. It's this point. If 2, it will be 6. It will be this point. Now, if it's three, it will be this point. If it's four, will be this point. If it's five, will be this point. Now, here the coordinates will be how? How will be the coordinates? Okay, the coordinates I am going to write, typing here with, okay, first one. Okay, one and five. Now, second one will be two and six. Third one will be uh, three, uh, three and seven. Three and seven. The next one will be four and eight. Four and eight. Now with this one, we are going to define our coordinates. Okay. Let's use another this. Now we map, we did mapping our cord, uh, coordinates here together and we have the points, the points, all of them here. 